Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and in today's video, we are on beat two of the 12 beats of Christmas. If you haven't checked out the first song or beat, whatever you want to call it, I'll throw a link in the description below and up here. You can go check that out. In that video, I did Joy to the World. Today, we're recording Jingle Bells. Classic Christmas song. Let's go in here and create an empty project. For those of you who haven't seen yesterday's video, I'm doing 12 songs from now till Christmas, posting them as kind of an exercise to push me to get a little bit creative and record on the fly, show you some of my workflow of recording with the MPC key 61. So let's come in here, let's go in and find our tempo. So jingle bells, let's go with uh, a jingle bells, jingle bells. I'm gonna use a tap tempo right here. It's gonna bring us around, let's go with Maybe, oh, 105, pretty close to the tempo we did yesterday. I think we were at 102 yesterday. If we just hit play, we don't hear anything. We can do shift, configure the metronome. You can put this enable on record and play and play this. Okay, so let's just grab our bars here and let's swoop that right up. Uh, so we have plenty of room. We're gonna do this in a linear fashion in today's video. I'm probably gonna start with the melody, then record the drums, and that's as far as I've gotten mentally preparing for this video. So we're gonna do this on the fly. Let's go in and get something, I don't know, maybe bell sounding. So we're gonna tap on sound. We come in here, hype has some pretty good bells. Go to hype, and we've got a few pages of them here. Let's see. Icy warmth. We gotta pick a key too. So let's go with the key of G on this one. Ooh, I like that. You can double tap on stop, and that kills any effects or anything going on in the sounds. I think this is good. Let's go down here, and we're gonna call this track Bells. You can do that by hitting this little edit, Bells. Yesterday's video was almost half an hour long, and so I promised myself I'd try to work through this one quicker. So let's go ahead and record this. I'm gonna go pretty straight with the melody, for this first pass, and then I think I'm gonna come back and re-record the melody after the drums, just to kind of get things down. So, record, play start. And I already messed up. Let's start over, record, play start. If you do overdub, it's gonna keep your notes you played the last time you recorded. Record is going to record over and just clear anything on the track. So that's what we wanna do here. All right. Now, I love this, when you're first starting a song or when I'm first starting trying to get an idea down, I really don't know where the song is headed. So this is where it starts to take shape is we're gonna go to track two. I'm gonna change this from a plugin to a drum program. In yesterday's video, I showed you how to assign samples, come in here and do the assignment. And we could do that again, but what instead I'm gonna do is come back to my main screen, gonna to go to sound. We're gonna come in and we're just going to pick, I want something pretty poppy, uh, maybe, let's see. I say poppy, but let's just go with like an 808 kit. 
Let's load that up. So you just tap on it. It's going to load it up onto your 16 pads. Uh, let's try the 909. I like that. I'm going to go with a pretty straight beat. Now we could go to edit instrument. We could change a lot of these things, the samples, all of those types of things. I'm not going to worry too much about that, uh, but we're going to go back to here and we're going to go record, play start, and I'm going to go, I got to find my right drums. And I'm going to go pretty straight. Du, da, 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 da. Da, 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 Changed it up about halfway through there. Maybe I didn't. I'm gonna try that one more time. <laughs> there I did. <laughs> one more time. Let's go with that. I have timing correct on, so it's gonna fix any slight um, kind of indiscrepancies in my timing there. Now, one way we could have done this is just recorded a short bit of that, but I'm just going linear with these. Let's go back and re-record the bells. I think I'm gonna change it up and do a little bit of different timing. Something like that. Not quite. I'm okay with that. Let's roll with that. Track three, we've got bells, we've got drums. Let's go with a little bass. For this, let's go into bass line and I'm gonna use just this. And we don't need it down an octave. Down an octave allows me to play higher, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and record this. And this is gonna kind of establish our chord structure for this song. So let's go ahead and hit, we have record, play start.
snazzy. I kind of like that. Let's call this base. We're going to rename this and we're also going to call the plugin base. Again, renaming these tracks to something other than track one, two, three, four helps when you go into mix mode, you can actually see what the um, different tracks are that you're mixing. So we're going to come back over to our main mode here. I'm going to go into track four. Now let's think about this for a minute. We've got drums, bass, our melody line. Let's do some sort of pluck, like a dry pluck, because the melody line has quite a bit in there already. Let's come into Fabric XL, go into plucks. Let's just play around with a couple of these. Ah, could work. We'll come back to that one. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that lo-fi. Let's try this. I'm just going to do a little bit of play, start, no record. Let's come back here and try this call sign. I feel like it's a little too similar. What may actually be good here, now that I'm thinking about this, let's go to Studio Strings Solo, and let's do just kind of a staccato. Mm, maybe we want some sort of like um, pizzicato. I like that. Let's try that. It's getting lost in the mix too much. I like that. Now we're kind of moving away from the rhythm. Again, shifting in patterns. Let's give this in a try here. I like that. Let's go with that and come back. Let's name this strings. So I still would like something in there and maybe it's a guitar or something like that. I can't spell strings for the life of me. <laughs> um, strings, strings. You know, I waste a lot of time naming tracks, but it's just kind of a process thing. Going to go to track five. We're going to add plugin five because there are only four when you create an empty project. So we're going to go into our sounds. Let's go in and what did I just say I was going to do? Fabric XL, guitars. We could try and a some sort of like. Might be too much. Let's give that a try. We can work with that. Let's come back here and I'm going to drop my volume of that bell down just a little bit because it's kind of overpowering things here. And we're going to come back over to track five. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a lick here. I'm going to go with that. I like the, I'm going to go with that.
lost my chord there on the to A chord there. I completely blanked out as I was playing that. I think we're going to roll with that. The timing correction may have screwed that up, uh, but I said that yesterday and it didn't. So we're going to just listen to this real quick. No, pretty close. Okay. Let's talk about what we could do. So we've got a bit of rhythm in there. Uh, we've got our strings. Maybe we go with kind of a throaty lower end string in there. Let's come back over to our studio and... I like that. Let's go with that. Too much. Not loving that. Let's go with something a little bit brighter. I don't know if I recorded that. I think I did. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I was like, I just wasted three minutes of your guys' time. Oh, let's go. Oh, do we just, geez, um, let's call this um, strong string. And strong. It's really not catching my sweaty hands here. There, go ahead, go to track seven. And what I wanna do is now bring in something that's gonna help bring it all together. And we can do this in a couple of different ways. I say we go in with a really nice ambient EP. Let's check out a couple of these. Nope. Oh, let's save that for another song. We just try to find maybe it's just the uh, let's see just a, a something warm it's got a nice little vibrato to it call that EP. And I think we want to do one more and really bring it all together with maybe a really soft 
lead sound. Let's come into here. Let's go to Fabric XL. Let's try to find a really soft lead sound. <laughs> that could work. I like that. Let's do that. I think that works. Let's go back to our mix mode here. And before we do that, let's just name this one lead so we can see it in our mix mode. I think we're getting close to the end. I feel like we've maxed out, almost maxed out our tracks. We've got seven program tracks here, a drum track. I say, let's go into mix mode here and... <laughs> Super cool. Check this out. We have band pass on our touch FX. You're coming into the room. I hope you guys found this to be fun and just kind of hanging out with me as I do some live recording sessions to challenge myself. If you've got any questions about what I did in this video, throw those down in the comments below. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Happy holidays, stay inspired, and keep making that music. <laughs>